All right, so if you guys have been paying attention recently, Sony Pictures, instead of doing Miles Morales, casted the chick from Grey's Anatomy to play Madam Web. Who? Gray, uh, my bad, Fifty Shades of Grey. Nigga. I'm not even joking. You were so off that stand in. <laughs> That's it. Bro, I was just like. No, leave it in. I don't care. I was literally like, who? I really thought this was about to get surgical in here, bro. I was like, what are you talking about, bro? Grey's Anatomy. I was so confused. Dakota Johnson, the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey. That's what she's known as now. But uh, everyone's been complaining about it because Madam Webb is supposed to be like an old blind lady who like is just like like protector of like the spider verse and shit like that. But what was interesting was that she had tagged Marvel Studios in her post when she basically confirmed she was it. And a lot of people have been talking about it and have been saying, look, it looks like Marvel Studios could be involved. It wouldn't surprise me if going forward, Marvel Studios does get more involved in these Sony picture movies after, you know, Morbius comes out and Craven the Hunter does as well. Like, first of all, I, I never watched Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, I never really cared to watch it. You mean Grey's Anatomy, sir? Oh, yeah, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, you know. I never really watched it, so I don't really care. Um, but it's just like... Who cares? Like, if it's gonna be like a little role, like you're gonna be in a movie and you're gone, like I'm fine with that. But if it's like, oh, now this person's gonna be in it, they're gonna, you know, gonna be oh, in the yeah, storyline. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm good on that. I'm just good on that. Because honestly, Madam Web is not. I feel sort of the same way because her character is not like built to have her own fucking movie. Like, I'm but but again, what are they built? This is my thing with Star Wars. You understand, like, oh, Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka. Um, Rangers of the New Republic, uh, The Mandalorian. Oh, that sounds like a lot. It's the same. Yeah, but they're building to one singular point, right? Mm -hmm. So you can understand with watching that, like, where are they going? Here's where they're going. With Marvel, I'm like, where the where the f are you oh, going? Oh, I mean, dude? I know where I for sure know Marvel Studios is building up to Secret Wars, but not every project they're doing is doing that. And Sony's wants to build up to another Spider, huge Spider Verse thing with all their characters. They sort of hinted at, hinted at it. And uh, Venom too. Um, when Venom said, "I like have like multi like have knowledge from a hive mind, a multiversal hive mind." And in the comics, Null the symbiote god made the fucking symbiotes. So that's just something that they can build up to and be cut and have all. But of that's my the point: is you you couldn't watch Eternals and be like, "What are they building to?" You couldn't watch freaking. Um, if you read the comics, yes. For the average if you viewer, don't, no. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's kind of like, okay, all these things are happening. And they're kind of just like, okay, he's Captain America now, and um, she's the new Black Widow, and he's the grumpy dude from Up that looks like Captain America, you know, like, what are the Kingpin's back, Daredevil's back. Like, we're in the very early stages, I get it, but I'm like, I have no, there's so much content, and I still don't understand what the big bad, what the threat is. Where, like, back in the day, they hinted at Thanos so many yeah. different times well, mm, from the beginning. It's going to be, it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being Kang. That seemed fairly obvious. But you only got that from Loki. But then what is, Eternals, what is Eternals going towards? Galactus. So, where do they go? It's so confusing. Everybody's doing their own thing. That's what's going to happen when you resh reshuffle your entire cinematic universe. But they could have easily, like, chosen, hey, this is the one place we're going to, I'm hey, look, I'm still, I like the movies and stuff. Oh, I know that. But I'm just like, I still don't understand. What are we getting to? Like with Star Wars, it's a lot easier to be like, oh, they're going to rebuild and make the freaking trash new trilogies make sense. <laughs> so they're building the backstory. Yeah. So we already understand that and you understand where they're going with that part of the timeline. We understand with Kenobi how it's filling in that massive gap in between, you know, the original trilogy. So with Marvel now, I'm just like, yo. Yeah, yeah Star I'm Wars has only went back in time to add more context to stuff. In, a, in, an era, in an era that people are already pretty familiar with. So exactly. it's not confusing. I can see your problem with that with Marvel Studios. I don't think... I think you're in this weird category of uh, people who are into it but like don't get into the comics and the casual viewer probably does not give a Because they're just going to go out and see a Marvel movie every now and again or pretty much every Marvel movie because they're good and they're fun and you know they can enjoy it. So as long as they can keep up with the plot, then they're fine. I don't think it's going to bother them all that much. But comment down below what you guys think about, you know, all this. Do you think, like, this new character matters? Do you think how I think where you're just like, 
This is so much. What are we getting at? Uh, comment down below. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.